إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرًا ونذيرًا بين يدي الساعة من أطاعه فقد رشد واحتدى ومن عصاه فقد ذل وغوى ولا يضر إلا نفسه ولن يضر الله شيئا أما بعد فإن خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون أيها الإخوة والأخوات في الإسلام These are the beginning ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah. Al-Iflam mean, ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه. This book, there is no doubt about it. Doubt in it. Hudan للمتقين, it is a guidance for متقين people, those people who got the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. الذين يؤمنون بالغيب those who believe in unseen ويقيمون الصلاة they establish the prayer ومما رزقناهم ينفقون and they spend out of what we have given them why this book begins with these ayats ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه this book there is no doubt in it and that is, uh, you can say, just after Surah Al-Fatiha, that is the first longest surah in Al-Qur'an. Why? Because even during the times of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when ayat were revealed, Surah Baqarah, as, as far as the revelation is concerned, it is not an early surah. It is a Madani Surah which uh, was revealed in Medina. So there were so many Surah which were revealed before that. And uh, Arab of Arabia, they used to listen to Al-Quran. And then they have listened to the ayat in which Allah SWT has given the similitude of a spider and uh, of a fly and then right in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah of a mosquito. So they say, what type of uh, book is this that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making parables, similitudes of such tiny type of uh, creatures. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got no other big creatures to say and to give similitude of them. Why these small creatures? So that was uh, one of the doubt which has been created. And uh, even in our times, you will see that many people who are against Islam, they bring doubts after doubts about the authenticity of this book. And they say that uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam na'udhu billahi ta'ala min zalik, in this saying, that he has heard 
the previous scriptures like Injil and Torah and uh, he has taken the stories from them and uh, he brought these stories in his book which is known as the Quran so he has taken all these stories and informations from the Christians and from the Jews and he put it together in a book called Al-Quran Al-Kitab that was uh, still so many people uh, say such things and the very simple answer to that is that if our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not know about the previous Prophets and he has to, to take the stories from them from where he got the story of Aad and Samud because Aad and Samud Aad their Prophet was Hud and Samud their Prophet was Salih alayhim salam these two Prophets are not mentioned in Torah in the Old Testament there is no mention of them so from where the Prophet got their stories except that we say that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the very same way if there is any error in Torah or Injil Quran has collected it. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامِ وَمَا مَسَّنَا مِنْ لُغُوبِ We have created the heaven and the earth and whatever in between them in six days. Why in the end of this ayah Allah SWT has said وَمَا مَسَّنَا مِنْ لُغُوبِ No fatigue caught us. Lugub is fatigue. We were not weary of that. Why? Just to correct the error of the first chapter of Old Testament, which is to them is Torah. But that is Old Testament. Real Torah, of course, uh, it has been changed. So Torah has said that Allah SWT has created the heaven and the earth in six days. And then he got tired. He tired. So this is why the seventh day is the day of rest, which is a Sabbath, a Sabbath. So Sabbath, with Jews, it is a day of rest. And this is why, according to their Sharia, there should be no work on a Sabbath at all. They should have complete rest. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here refuted them. Yes, as far as creating the heaven and the earth in six days, it is correct. But to say that he became weary, tired, that is wrong. We got no lugub, no fatigue out of uh, it at all. So in this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying here that this book, La Rai Bafi, La Rai Bafi, there is no doubt that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from Rabbul Alameen. Alif Lam Mim Tanzilul Kitab Ila Raiba Fi Min Rabbil Alameen That is in Surah to Sajda Very clear That there is no That is, it is coming from Rabbul Alameen From Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala So Quranic Ayat are explained Some Ayat which are not uh, explained in the beginning They are later explained in the Quran and then it says that Hudan lil muttaqin That is a guidance for muttaqin people, for those people who got the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now a person could say that is it a guidance only for muttaqin people, not for the whole mankind? Does it mean that only muttaqin people are to be guided? Non-muttaqin, they are not guided. So the answer to that is there as well. Hudan lil muttaqin. Though in the other ayat of the Quran it is also said Hudan lil nas, it is a guidance for the whole mankind. But here Allah is going to explain that yes, it is for all, a guidance for all. But as you know that if you enter a garden of roses, of flowers, with good smell. 
and you yourself uh, you are suffering from running nose and you have lost your uh, smell power you got no smell so when you enter that garden you are not going to smell anything at all because you don't have uh, that power of smell at that time in the same way if uh, because of any illness of your stomach you have lost the sense of taste if you got that uh, sense of uh, taste lost what is going to happen even if it is a very good type of dinner waiting for you a good food has been prepared for you but you will have no taste of that food at all why because you have lost that taste so in the very same way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given an an initial taqwa to each and every person taqwa means that you have to try to keep away from things which are bad that is your taqwa from wiqaya wa nafsin wa ma sawaha wa alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha qad aflaha man zakkaha wa qad khaba man dassaha allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these ayat is swearing by nafs just look at your nafs wa nafsin wa ma sawaha and how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it is a proportionate uh, type of uh, uh, creation how perfect it has been created wa nafsin wa ma sawaha fa alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inspired to it two things to each nafs fujuraha wa taqwaha what is fujur what is sin and what is taqwa so in our nature in the nature of each and every person he knows that what is good and what is bad even a non muslim knows that your mother is your mother and you have to respect her you don't have to be a muslim to know this even the non muslim knows that so there are so many things which are in our nature to respect an elder yes that is uh, a universal type of uh, character people know about that and in the very same way there are many evils even the non muslim admit that they are evil murder murdering someone nobody would say that uh, it is a virtue so in this way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given an initial conception of what is good and what is wrong fa alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha now here comes after this initial taqwa qad aflaha man zakkaha wa qad khaba man dassaha now you have to develop this taqwa so the person who keeps on purifying himself and with good deeds he would be successful and the person who is going to cover his nafs with more and more evils wa qad khaba man dassaha the person who has covered the soul with so many evils he would be a failure complete failure so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that quran is hudan lil muttaqin you should have at that initial taqwa it is just like uh, your mobile sometime you are in an area where there is no reception no reception at all and you are not receiving the calls why because there is no reception in the very same way if uh, the man becomes so evil that he got no reception no sense of reception a good thing then it does not become a guidance for him at least try to develop this initial taqwa quran is such a great thing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about it law anzalna hadha alquran ala jabalin daraitahu khashian mutasaddian min khashiyatillah wa tilka alamsal nadribuha lin nas la'allahum yatafakkarun quran is such a great thing that if we have revealed it to a mountain it has been torn apart completely min khashiyatillah because of the fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
It is not an ordinary thing. This is why Allah SWT has chosen the most, the purest heart to receive this Al-Quran. The purest of the purest, the noblest of the noblest. That is the heart of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That heart that has to receive this Quran. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received it. A mountain can't receive it. It can't bear, it can't bear the burden of that Quran. So this is what it means, Hudan lil muttaqeen. You must have this initial taqwa to have this guidance. So we have seen so many people just after reading Al Quran, they were guided to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This happened during the time of the Prophet sallallahu It is still happening. There are so many stories of new Muslims. Those new Muslims who just became Muslim by reading Al-Quran. There are people of science, technology. They have become Muslim only by finding something which is scientific. And they said, oh, such a scientific thing could not be said by a person 1400 years ago. It is impossible, unless because it has been discovered in other times. So they say that it can't be from a person in this world. It must be something which is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as this person has claimed. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he did not say that I wrote it. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed it to me. Just one example here, which is coming in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَسْتَحْيِ أَنْ يَذْرِبَ مَسَلًا مَا بَعُوذَةً فَمَا فَوْقَهَا فَعَمَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَيَقُولُونَ مَاذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَسَلًا يُذِلُّ بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَيَحْدِي بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَمَا يُذِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِقِينَ Allah SWT is not ashamed to coin a similitude of بَعُوضَةً of a mosquito فَمَا فَوْقَهَا and what is above it Here, that is the answer of those people during, even in the time of the Prophet Allah got no shame to give an example of a very tiny creature. That is Ba'udatan. That is a mosquito. And what is upon it? The main thing is that those people who are believers, when they hear this example, they say, Allahu al-haqq min rabbi. That is the haqq which is coming from our Lord. <laughs> and those people who are in the mode of denial, they are kuffar. They say, Maza arad Allahu bihada masala. What Allah SWT wanted from this example. And then Allah says that this is how Allah SWT leads so many people and misleads so many people. Leads those people who got this taqwa and mislead those people who got no taqwa at all. And he does not mislead except al fasiqeen those people who got fisk, a mind of sin. Now, this example of a mosquito, that is a, again something scientific here. And what it is said in this ayah. That has been proved now in our times. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned Ba'uzatan with the feminine mode. Ba'uzatan. It is not masculine, it is feminine. Ba'uzatan. Now, by scientific research, they have found out that the mosquito which bites you. That is always a female one. It is not a male one at all. It is just a female one 
because the female one just to lay eggs it needs some blood some energy and mosquito though it is such a small creature but it has a perfect body all all such things which are found in one of uh, the most fabulous and greatest animals like an elephant all such things are found in this mosquito as well but it is so small and mosquito itself it has eyes though they say that there are two eyes but in these two eyes there are hundreds of there is hundred eyes it can see at a degree of 149 in dark when it is dark it can detect where is the blood which she wants to suck this type of blood that every person is bitten by this mosquito no the mosquito can detect that blood which she wants either by motion by heat by odor by movement by so many things so many mode of detection it finds that this person's blood is good for me and then it is going to bite that person so that is mosquito but here in this ayah which was not understood by so many people that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fama fawqaha allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not shy of giving the example of a mosquito fama fawqaha and what is above it so what does it mean what is above it means what is smaller than that or what is bigger than that if you go to mufassirin they will give uh, so many opinions about that but in 1927 the scientist has discovered the secret and he said that after his research he found out that even that mosquito on his wing there are parasites and these parasites they sucks the blood of that mosquito fama fawqaha the wings above a mosquito and above that wings are the parasites so the word fama fawqaha it has been revealed that secret was revealed very recently in this century this what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said about this mosquito and this small small creatures this small creature that is the reason for about a million deaths every year because the biting of mosquito results in so many diseases malaria yellow fever dengue and so many more all coming from this very tiny very tiny creature of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is why they say that this is the deadliest deadliest creature of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cause deaths nimrod in arabic we say namrud nimrod during his time was the prophet was prophet sayyidna ibrahim alayhi salam and then there is a conversation between him and uh, nimrod and nimrod said that you say that you believe in allah you believe in rabb he said uh, my rabb gives life and gives death he said i can give life and death as well so the person said that i can give life and death the person who threw sayyidna ibrahim alayhi salam into the fire that person you can just think how how strong he was or he thought that he is very strong and but very powerful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala crushed him with that mosquito which entered into his nostrils reached to his brain and started started biting the brain and by biting that brain nimrod got such a pain in his head that he used to say to his soldiers hit me on the head hit me on the head 
and they started hitting his head and he was not given any relief from the pain. He said, hit him more, hit me more. This is how his head was smashed and he died a terrible death. Allah wanted to show him that you say that you are most powerful, you are superpower, you can do what you like, you can destroy this nation and that nation. And you people, you become, ordinary people, you become so weak and you think, yes, that it is a superpower. You understand what I say? This, this is a superpower and they are going to destroy us. So we have to fear them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown this example. How we smashed and destroyed that person who was so arrogant when he said that I can give life and I can give death. How a small creature of mine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, has destroyed him completely. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank God that you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is all powerful, who is the one who gives life and death, who is the one who gives disease and then cure it as well. Have your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the Quran and you will have that peace and security which is promised to the believers aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al muslimin fa astaghfiruh alhamdulillah alhamdulillah alladhi hadana lil islam wa ma kunna linahtadiya لولا أن هدانا الله أما بعد فإن الله يقول في القرآن المجيد إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والإسيان وجعلنا من الراشدين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أزل الشرك والمشركين اللهم انصر من نصر هذا الدين واخذل من خذل هذا الدين اللهم ارضى عن جميع المسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات وعن جميع الصحابة والصحابيات ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين إباد الله يرحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى وأعز وأجل وأتم وأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقم الصلاة